Hey guys, I am in a different location today and I am helping my friend Vas work on his R32 turbo behind me here. We're going to be building some intercooler pipes today and I mean, we'll see how we get on. Already it's an absolute pain in the ass because we've got to take the downpipe off and let me show you the turbo setup. This is the engine conversion that he's done and Vas has been working on this car for quite a while. This is called Project Phoenix now. Red Phoenix. Red Phoenix. And this car is an absolute monster. So it's a full R32 turbo built by Vass himself at home. And like, I can't even begin to explain how sick this car is. It's gone through a full rebuild. And it's just waiting on a rear end now. And once we do the intercooler pipe work, we'll be good to go. But look at the size of that turbo. Specs on the turbo is precision 6262 with a 42mm precision wastegate and a custom made downpipe for the car. It's got 630 injectors, uh, it's fully forged with Wussner pistons and ZRP con rods, uh, race, ACL race bearings. Um, yeah, the whole engine's been rebuilt, brand new down to the gasket level, and fingers crossed, uh, Pritpal's gonna help me with it. <laughs> Intercooler pipe work, and once that's done, uh, we'll, be ready. we'll be ready. All right, so quick update Bass is currently just bolting the uh, downpipe back together, and like this is a tough car to work on, like, clearances are really tight. So, anyone out there wanting to build a R32 turbo, please make sure you don't call me. Don't, don't call him first of all <laughs> but like just just be take into account all of the clearances that go into everything so let me just show you where the turbo pipes running ah, it's back on now so this is the side of the car this is the pipe that we've started to build but what that pipe actually does is that comes out at an angle so if I go underneath and try to show you it's coming out at an angle to keep it away from the engine but then it does a 90 at the top and then goes straight into the turbo because it is an aftermarket turbo so now we're going to make another section that comes off and basically goes straight into the intercooler outlet which is over here or inlet this is as far as we've got with the pipe now so it dodges the engine comes down goes across and then straight into the intercooler but i'm just making some brackets for it to bolt onto the chassis leg so i'm going to put another bracket over here and then that will just keep the turbo pipe from moving and keep it solid but it's one solid metal pipe going from the turbo outlet directly into the intercooler pipe that we've made and I don't know if you can see it but this is the outlet from the turbo so it comes out does a 90 down but then this is like a 15 degree angle that it kicks out from the engine and then it's like a 45 ish that comes out and then goes straight bang to the intercooler and then 
we've made this one bracket to attach to the factory wing mount and we've got this bracket to attach to the chassis leg and that should keep this pipe nice and strong now the welding is not the best but we do what we can and as long as it holds boost that's the main thing this is the finished pipe obviously it needs powder coating but we've got two brackets on it one there one there and they bolt it to the chassis leg and then it's been beat in to dodge the down pipe because the clearances are so tight on this car okay so today we are back at Vass's now so it's been about two weeks since i shot the stuff for the other video and Vass has been busy at work you can see the car behind but today we are going to be doing the three inch pipe on the left side of the car coming out of the intercooler and going into the throttle body this is the engine and how it's coming along. So that's pretty much finished everything here and it looks fantastic. But one thing I did want to show you was his oil cooler pipe work. So that's his oil cooler on the front. His pipe work comes across in AN pipes and then comes into this section over here. And if you can see it, they are actually quick release clips. And these quick release clips actually make it so that you can take the entire front end off and you don't lose any oil out of the system, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So it's been a few hours now and I have been hard at work and this is the pipe so far. And what it is, is it's got a vibrant clamp that goes on. So these are stainless steel ferrules that Vass ordered and that's why we were waiting for about two weeks. Now the pipe, although it's got duct tape on it, there's a pie cut section here, which I literally just figured out how to do. We Googled and YouTubed it in order to figure out how to cut pie cut angles. And then that goes into a 90. And now this is gonna go from the throttle body, come across the body of the car, and then hopefully end up in the intercooler. So to show you guys how I made that pie cut angle, what I did was I brought this protractor, set it off against the bench, and then marked it at 17 degrees because that's where I wanted my angle to be. And then Vass hammered in two pieces of wood to make this as a jig. And then I simply used the 90 degree angle coming off of the table as my cut line. So if I spin this around to show you how it lines up. You can see that this edge, when I butt it against it, creates my angle. And that's what I used to cut those pie cut angles. So scrapping everything that I said on pie cuts because it's completely wrong. I went ahead and did more research and what you're meant to do is cut them at a specific angle just go ahead on youtube find it yourself do some research but after spending a day trying to figure out what i wanted to do and how i want to build my pipes i've now gone ahead and got this chop saw from my uncle now i needed it because i was trying to do everything with a grinder and it's not really great so that is going to give me perfect cuts now I'm going to cut them each at 9 degrees to make a transition angle of 18 degrees and what we're going to do is we're going to extend this pipe here. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this pipe. So this is currently where the turbo pipe is coming to. So we've built it, it comes down and around and then goes up into the throttle body. But where it comes down and around, the intercooler is over here. Now we've got this elbow on it which we're going to use which is a 90 but it comes to there and what I want to do is basically build like a 45 using pie cuts to come around into this piece to give it a straight shot into it and then I will be building a bracket for it to bolt onto the body as well. Amateur welder and fabricator, that's pretty damn good. So we made six pie sections plus a starter piece that wrap this turbo pipe round and then into this 90 degree bend which goes into the intercooler. And as you can see, it's a nice sweeping curve. But 
this means I've got a lot of welding to do which is up next this has been one of the hardest pipes I've ever made in my life but it has come out really really well so that's the stainless steel ferrule for the vibrant clamp it then goes into a 34 ish degrees bend then comes down kicks out into the bend the mandrel one and here is my pie cut section so this is the first ever pie cuts that I've made the welding looks terrible but they're just tacks I'm now gonna make it all into shape but you know what I'm very impressed with the way it's come out so you can see that's the angle that it takes just to kick it into the intercooler and then there's a 90 degree silicon going into the intercooler So we finally got it all done and finished. This is the pipe in situ. So you can see the route that it takes. And we can see my pie cut work right over there. So this is the first time I've ever attempted anything like this. And it's one of the hardest pipes I've ever made in my life. But you know what? I've learned a lot of skills from it. So hopefully I can redo the pipes on my car next. So Vass is gonna get that pipe powder coated. He's dropping it off sometime this week. So once he drops it off and comes back, I'll try and slide some clips in now of uh, how it looks when it's finished, just like I did with the other pipe. But I mean, the pipes are done on the car and the idea was for this car to be able to drive out. And I think we're almost there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like everything on the channel. And hopefully we've got some new stuff coming for you guys soon.